Welcome back. I'm here at Atwater Winery along Seneca Lake, and I'm joined here with Ted Marks, who owns this beautiful facility. It is absolutely gorgeous. We've got a great day outside. Well, we've worked for a long, long time to get the view perfect. <laughs> you know. So how long have you owned this winery? Uh, nine years owned the winery. Bought it in 99, uh, but we didn't open until 2000. So this, uh, this is our ninth year. Well, congratulations, that's great. <coughs> but the vines were already here. They were already here. Yeah, we had planted uh, quite a few acres since, but the basics of our winery, the vines are already planted. It's an important step already done for you. Yeah, it was originally the Rolling Vineyards winery. Oh, okay. We're going to that over. Yeah. No, actually, he closed for 10 years. Oh, and okay. Then, and uh, then we opened. And now 2009 has been a rough year for many businesses across the board. How have you guys fared, especially you've been around for nine years since compared to past? Well, the sales have been honestly down a little bit since the first year. Um, the weekend we just had on the Seneca Lake Wine Trail, the Wine and Cheese event was the first exciting weekend that we've had this year, to be honest with you. Our sales were up about uh, about 35, 40 percent. Wow, that's great news. And, and it's nice, and the number of people were up uh, also about 30 percent over last year. And that's, you know, maybe things are coming back, and uh, a lot of local people are starting to travel. Uh, maybe they'll stay at home and, and visit us. And Absolutely. obviously, that's the purpose of talking uh, a lot about our industry because it's a great place to visit for the weekend, for a few days, a quick trip away. Absolutely. It, that's the whole point. And do you have any concerns since your sales are down? Or are you hopeful now that you've had this really good weekend? Well, of course, I'm hopeful. Uh, do I have concerns? Well, we have a little concern. Uh, a lot of us planted grapes. Uh, extra grapes because sales have been so powerful for the last three, four years. And I think we're going to have a few excess grapes this year, uh, which will give us new opportunities to open up new markets and maybe instead of a lot of wine coming into the Finger Lakes or a lot of juice coming into the Finger Lakes, we can start exporting some. We've got the best reasons in the world. And maybe uh, we plant a little more and we need to use internally mm -hmm. so we can sell it to other people. And you think that'll help us out? Well, it helps us get rid of the grapes. <laughs> and bring them some more money, right? <laughs> and is there anything you're trying to do to promote the winery especially now? Or? Well, yes. Yeah, so much of my daughter's disgust. I have uh, just taken on a billboard, uh, several billboards for the first time. Um, my attitude is the billboard's there, so someone should be on it. And why not a beautiful view from her winery, which is actually what we had. Yes, absolutely. And the billboard says, uh, come taste our view. Oh, very nice. And then small print under it, and our wines too. Have you noticed anyone coming in saying, oh, we saw your oh, billboard? Thousands. Really? Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, they just went up a week ago. Okay. Uh, I actually got a comment our very first day, which was exciting. That is exciting. Uh, you know, something that's very hard to measure, like all advertising, you really don't know, but, you know, we hope it will work. Definitely. And other people, other wineries have been doing it for years. So, and we're doing a lot of shelf promotions, we're doing some new shelf promotions, and we're tying in with, uh, with specific, um, uh, for example, we are, we have just been named the official wine of the International, International Motor Racing Research Center in Wyoming. That's a big time for that coming up. Yeah, it is. Great. Didn't he want to get a bottle there? I'll show you the, the bottle. We just designed a new label for them. Great. Uh, That's right, here, right, right here. So, do you design your own labels as well for your yes, bottle? Yes, we do. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, we do. Great stuff. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. We're going to take a look at that in a second, but yep. while we're waiting to see that, is there anything that you would hope to see maybe some of our local lawmakers um, do that could help you guys out down here during this time? Well, could reduce taxes, uh, of course, right. open up, uh, it, we're very restricted. Uh, the wine for the uh, Racing Museum is an example. We designed a great label for them that is historic racing. They can't sell wine. They can't market it. Uh, they're not allowed to. Uh, you back. It's not like another product that if, they were, if it was candy, they could sell it in their place. So well, there are an extreme amount of restrictions on wine uh, in New York State, uh, and also with shipping, we can't ship. Uh, so these are things that they're trying to work on, and 
make us more like any other business. Awesome, Stuart. Why don't we take a look at one of those bottles that we've got right here. And what a great label that is. And a great way to promote promote the winery. That, that, absolutely. Uh, well, it promotes the winery, but it also promotes the area. It's, this is the um, Cunningham cars going around the Stone Bridge at the, the old racetrack at Watkins Glen. And we have another label for our Stone Bridge Red. And it's just kind of uh, how what we're doing to promote our business mm -hmm. to tie uh, it in with the local economy. Great. And talking about your wines, I noticed in another section of the room there is a ton of awards on your wine. Do I talk about some of the awards you guys want? Well, you're going to be talking with my winemaker in a few minutes. Uh, we've had uh, some very good success with our wines, especially our Rieslings, our dessert wines. Uh, we won uh, the best North American Riesling uh, in a major Australian Riesling competition. And um, we've done well with almost, almost all of our wines. Our wines are very balanced. Uh, we've been the top rated uh, wine along with Anthony Road Winery on, the, on Seneca for the Finger Lakes Rieslings, and that's pretty exciting. Do you have a favorite one? Um, I kind of like the Vidal Blanc, and I like our new Syrah, which will be released in, in a few weeks. Uh, only in the winery. We didn't make, we haven't been able to make enough of that yet to promote it in the, in the liquor stores. Uh, much of their unhappiness, I'm sure, because I'm mentioning it, but uh, that's one of our big, going to be one of our big bestsellers. Great. So why do you do it all? I mean, things are tough now. It's a hard, hard thing to do start your own business. How do you do it? Well, I, I used to own bookmarks and Corning in Elmira, and I've been having. Uh, it's just fun. It's it's fun. You're working with about ten to twelve people all the time. You build a good relationships with them. You help other winemakers like Vinny uh, start his own winery. Uh, and that's exciting to me to see the success of the area. Well, that's great. We appreciate you being here with us today. So I wish you the best of luck in well, everything. Well, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk to Vinny, who is a winemaker and also just opened a new winery. So stay with us.